Buddy from Play School. Cinnamon gum freshens breath longer than Big Red. So kiss a little longer, stay close a little longer, hold tight a little longer, longer with Big Red. That Big Red freshness lasts right through it. Your fresh breath goes on and on. While you chew it, say goodbye a little longer, make it last a little longer. Give your breath long lasting freshness. The Magnificent Misadventures of Modelo, Aerospace Extraordinaire. In the quaint neighborhood of Delusionville, there lived a man named Modelo, whose grasp on reality was about as firm as a wet noodle's handshake. Modelo fancied himself an aerospace engineer, despite his most significant achievement being the ability to fold a paper airplane without giving himself a paper cut. Our hero started each day by donning his uniform, a child's astronaut costume he'd outgrown years ago held together by duct tape and dreams. He'd stride out of his house, which resembled a disco ball thanks to the hundreds of cameras affixed to every surface. Gotta keep an eye on those UFOs, he'd mutter, adjusting his tinfoil hat. At the local gym, Modelo was a legend, in his own mind. He'd lift one pound weights with the intensity of a bodybuilder tackling a semi-truck, grunting loud enough to wake the dead. Post-workout, he'd strike poses that made him look less like a Greek god and more like a pretzel with delusions of grandeur. Snap into a slim gym, he'd yell at his reflection, flexing muscles that existed only in his imagination. His long-suffering wife, Judas the Hog Farmer, would often be seen rolling her eyes so hard you'd think she was trying to see her own brain. Her foghorn-like snoring was the neighborhood's natural alarm clock and her Taco Bell gong ringtone had locals craving chalupa at odd hours. Modelo's neighbor, Chu Chu, watched this daily spectacle with a mix of envy and bewilderment. If only I could be that confidently clueless, Chu Chu would sigh, as he watched Modelo attempt to fly by jumping off his roof with cardboard wings. But Modelo's true genius shone brightest during his aerospace demonstrations. He'd gather the neighborhood kids, promising to show them the future of aviation. With great fanfare, he'd launch a paper airplane, which would promptly nosedive into a mud puddle. And that, children, is how we'll colonize Mars. He'd declare triumphantly, following up with his catchphrase, you believe me, right? Jokes flew over Modelo's head so frequently that local birds started using him as target practice. The whooshing sound of humor sailing past his ears had become the neighborhood's ambient noise. Why is it always so windy around here? He'd ask, oblivious to the laughter surrounding him. 
Come dinner time, Modelo would make his grand entrance at the local IHOP, squeezed into a high chair, sporting a bib and his favorite pull-ups. I'll have the rocket-shaped pancakes, please, he'd announce to the mortified waitstaff. And don't forget the moon cheese. His favorite pastime was playing tic-tac-toe on the kids' menu, insisting the triangles were wild cards. It's advanced aerospace geometry, he'd explain to anyone within earshot. You believe me, right? But Modelo's crowning achievement was his homemade satellite surveillance system, a collection of old VHS camcorders duct taped to remote-controlled cars. He'd drive these contraptions around the neighborhood, narrating in a poor imitation of David Attenborough. Here we see the elusive suburban dad in his natural habitat, the barbecue grill. When not monitoring his neighbors, Modelo enjoyed giving impromptu light shows by shining spotlights at their houses. I'm signaling the mothership, he'd explain when confronted, adding with the wink, top secret aerospace stuff. You believe me, right? His financial strategies were equally unconventional. When it came time to pay his debts, Modelo would offer his prized collection of self-shot donkey show VHS tapes. They're in standard resolution for that authentic feel, he'd proudly declare. It's like watching a ballet, but with more boots. One day, the neighborhood decided to humor Modelo by throwing him NASA Appreciation Day. They set up a cardboard rocket in the park and told Modelo it was a real spacecraft. Our hero spent the entire day preparing for launch which mostly involved making wishing noises and asking passersby if they wanted his autograph. As night fell, Modelo climbed into his rocket, ready for his mission to Mars. The neighbors counted down, and at zero, they shone flashlights on the cardboard contraption. Modelo's excited shouts of, I'm flying, I'm in space, could be heard for blocks. Hours later, when Modelo emerged from his cardboard capsule, he regaled everyone with tales of his space adventures. I high-fived an alien. And get this, Mars is made of cheese. You believe me, right? And sir, life in Delusionville continued, with Modelo's antics providing endless entertainment. His neighbors might shake their heads and chuckle, but deep down, they had to admire his unwavering commitment to his own personal reality. After all, in a world that often takes itself too seriously, perhaps we could all use a little bit of Modelo's blissful obliviousness. Just remember, if you ever find yourself in Delusionville and spot a tiny man in an ill-fitting spacesuit, shining spotlights at the sky and mumbling about donkey shows, don't be alarmed. That's just Modelo, aerospace extraordinaire, living proof that sometimes, the sky isn't the limit, but common sense certainly is.